So there's a little vid. Let's go and test this out. Well, not test it out. I'll show you when we get there. So, no been able to close the lid on this uh, for the simple reason. Bear with me. The props are too big, and we had prop guards on as well. And so today, dun, 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 it all fits in the box. It's never done that in the last three years, maybe maybe more. So I bought these four. I'm really ready to go. Yeah, carbon fiber. So. This is going to be an interesting test uh, with a nice little video footage of that there on the field. This is nice, lovely. Also, I want to see what she handles like. So, George is going to fly it and I'm going to film it, and um, it'll be interesting. I also bought this, which is supposed to be a uh, signal booster. It goes over the aerial of your e, uh, your remote, uh, oh, like so. Uh, it's over there like that. Sorry, one-handed. That's it. I'm not supposed to boost the signal. Oh, that's amazing! Get out of the box. Not been able to do that at all. All one handed. Right. Battery's looking good. So All right, let's take the cover off and get flying. All right. Merlin! Stupid dog. Why? That wasn't me. It came down by itself from trouble flying too. Okay, we bought these carbon fiber blades. We've given it one test, but the video didn't turn out very well. We're going to test it again because the aircraft became very unstable and we got warnings about couldn't reach the right altitude. Yeah? Uh, it just seemed to be struggling to get So we've put the old ones, we put the, it's, it's flying well, it's these things. So we'll give it a go, George. Oh, that is not stable. Is it, is it behaving now? Yeah. Well, yeah. Before this said very unstable aircraft, wouldn't hold position. All right, so I've took them off and re-put them back on again. Merlin, away. It's not as stable. Though. It's not as stable. In what way? It just doesn't fly very well. You can see it's struggling to go up the altitude sometimes. I'll try again just to get off. Okay, we just put the dog in. Hold on a second. Yeah. Up to you, but I don't want to lose it in the field. We're going to try again. 
See if it'll hold position first, George. But it doesn't go up to a metre, does it? See, normally the craft would take up and hold at a metre. Okay, two seconds. Normally what happens, the aircraft will take up and hold at a metre's one, is it metre up? But it doesn't seem to be doing that, which is automatic. It's about eight inches. It's not as good. See, the, the advantage why I bought them is because it's they fold, so I can fit them in the box. Take it over the field, George. See where it goes like. Keep an eye on it, though. <laughs> George is going to attempt a box landing because he's jealous because I did one earlier. Whoa! <laughs> well done. Well, there we go. So, not as good. they're not as good. They're not as responsive. No, and it loses altitude all the time. So you're constantly with it all the time. It, it looks like it's trying a little bit harder. Yeah, it doesn't seem too bad of a feel, but I don't like you see that for itself. It doesn't have a lift when it first goes off. All yeah, right, okay. Well, there you go. As George did a box landing as well. <laughs> Thanks for watching. So conclusion is we're not. They're all right if you just want to fold it away and keep putting it in your box, but they're not for flying skills or for. I wouldn't say they're not for friends. We won't have anything decent of them. Right. Okay. So there you go. Not the best. Okay, we've just changed the props back for the originals. What's that? We're just waiting to calibrate. Okay, take two. Give it a go, George. It's a bit different now. Goodbye. Well. Looks like those uh, props will have to be going back, I think. They were 17 quid. Conclusion, George, for the camera. They're rubbish, aren't they? <laughs> Absolute. <laughs> it's supposed to make them lighter, more effective. Here we go. Honestly, um, what would you say? Honest opinion. Well, they're just not stable, are they? What were they? Seventeen quid. Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, considering the props on it, you can buy a set of these for two pound ninety nine. I'll just stick with them. Right, hope this helps anybody. If it does, um, I'm not even going to leave a link in the description for these because you're not going to blame me for this rubbish. Take care, and we'll catch you in the next vid. Cheers, thanks for watching.